Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about match, wild match and mix match functions and show you how you can use it in the front end in the back end. Before I show you how you can utilize the match function both in front end or in the back end, let's first evaluate the output that the match function gives and based on its output it will be very easy to connect what are the ways or you know the di different scenarios how you can use it so here is a quick small data set of expenditure by month and this is just a dummy data set created for this uh, video and uh, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, generally if you see the month information they are not sorted like this they should Jen should always come first, then February, and then so on and so forth. And we will see uh, later in this video, once we evaluate the match function output, how you can sort it utilizing the match function. So first thing we will see the output that match function gives, and then we will see how we can sort it, uh, the values, the month values utilizing the match function, and then its other uses apart from sorting. So let's go ahead, right quick, on anywhere on the space and go to chart within the chart we'll select the simple table and we will select the month as our dimension and within the expression we will say match and within the match the syntax is that first you need to specify the text or the field name so that is month and then expression or some sort of a values uh, by which you know you want to say that this is how it should match so here within the match function we have uh, these different months so let's enter the month in a proper order so for example first enter let's say January then February then March April May, June, July, August, and September. So till September we have the values. However, if you will observe, we don't have August. So, but for my standard example or my standard uh, to match it with the standard definition, we have just I've just gone ahead and entered the August information also. So that's. That's pretty much all. One thing to notice is that we are entering the value in single quotation when it is text and when it is numeric, you don't need to use the single quotation. I'll close this and I will hit OK. And I will say here as a level to match function output. I'll not close it. I'll just, first of all, I'll say finish. So you will see the information here. January has not come. Maybe I have done some spelling mistake. So you can see that uh, if we are having any kind of uh, issues in terms of the values that we are specifying, then it will not show you value. And what it also says that apart from this, uh, match function is also case sensitive. So even if it is like I'm saying J and A and capital letters and rest others are in small letters, then also it will not show the value. So, I think I have had an extra R and that's why it was not showing. If I hit apply, now you see that January is coming as the first. So, let's evaluate the match function output which is over here. Um, what it is saying is basically based on the value location after the field name, it is giving you that output. So, we have specified January as the first value in this function after the field then the output is coming as one fab is second that's why output is coming at second so what it is saying that hey in this uh in this particular function you have specified february on a second location march on third location and so on and so forth so in that way whenever you have any need of sorting a value in a proper order or in very custom order based on your needs then you can utilize the match function within the sort uh, expressions 
and get the custom sort done very quickly. So if I copy this for now, hit OK and go into the expenditure and within the sort, I will say I want to specify expression on month and I'll just paste it. I will remove this and click OK. You can see that I am able to get my value sorted properly. All right. After this, a uh, couple of other things I wanted to show you because apart from match function, I wanted to show uh, the wild match and mix match. So as I mentioned earlier, match is basically a case sensitive function. And if you have uh, the requirement where you don't want case sensitivity, then you can use mix match. So if I just go in here and say, within the match function G and A as capital and it apply, the January will not be shown over here because it is case sensitive, the match is case sensitive. But if I'm saying mix match and saying apply, then in that case, it is not case sensitive and will show the values over here. So if you have a requirement where you don't want case sensitivity, then use mix match. Okay. Um, the last one is the wild match. So wild match is basically nothing but uh, using the wild card character. So something like I want, I don't want to specify entire thing. Maybe you have a field, you know, where a lot of values are coming and you just want to have, let's say, J-A-N and start. That means anything after J-A-N and start, anything after J-A-N comes should be uh, given an output as a first value within this field. And wild match is also case insensitive. So if, even if I have J and A in capital, it will not have uh, any issue. It will just look at J, A, N, capital A or small a or anything and see what are the values that are coming after Jan. So if I hit enter, nothing will be, uh, nothing is changing because everything is perfectly fine because it is able to see uh, January and that's the only value which is getting displayed and it's on the first location. That's why the output is one. So that star is basically the first one uh, question mark is a second one. So if I had a question mark, that means it is saying that Jan and after that any one character. It's not that n number of character, but what it is saying, this is basically a four character long string. And we want after J A N, we want just any character, which is any one character. It can be between A to Z, but it's not like you can have four or fifth different characters. So if I hit apply, you see that's gone because in January you have more than four characters and that's why your information is not shown here. So question mark indicates that it can accept only one character uh, after this Jan, J-A-N. So these are the quick uh, three functions within the match I wanted to show you. Uh, I have shown this as in uh, front end, but you can also use it in the back end. And sometimes it is very helpful because the match or wild match or mix match function act as an in operator. So something like within the SQL, you may have seen that whenever you are entering query and in the where clause, uh, you want to specify more than one value. Then you use the in function and then you specify multiple values to get the output for those values. So in function is nothing but kind of an or condition that uh, maybe you can say give us all the record which is in the country India or USA or UK or Germany. That means all the four countries values will be selected. And the same way you can specify here in the click view utilizing the match function, um, the backend. So if I go up here and I go in a main tab where I have all these values, so after this, uh, if I specify the where function here at the end of this statement, as per its requirement where, and then what I want to basically say that I just want to get month, Jan and Feb values. And I would use then match function because I know I need a 
case sensitivity if i need a case insensitivity then i would have used the uh, mix match so i would enter january and february so that's all it needs so what it will say that hey give me the values which are just in jan and fab and i'm okay after that so if i hit reload and hit close well that's all i will get jan and fab if i need jan fab and march then i will just go and add the value as jan fab and march and it will change the output accordingly jan fab and march all right okay so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video uh apart from sorting and uh, apart from sorting and using it in the back end in a where clause it can have other usages also uh, and that you can identify based on the output that it gives like two or three it's based on the output it is giving there may be n number of innovative ways where you can utilize within your click view and get the desired scenario achieved